Let me introduce to you um, our, our speaker for our PD. He's an executive principal. His name is Cameron Pierce, and he works at Flinders Christian Community College. This school is a K-12 facility, which is multi-campus with 260 staff and 1,750 students. So Cameron, why did you choose to do the Insight SRC survey in the first place? Yeah, it's, um, it's a good question. Um, I think it was over a number of years throughout our time at the college, we'd really invested heavily in trying to improve our, our teaching and learning results, our engagement of students, um, development of our staff. And we just kept hitting this almost like invisible wall, like we would get to a certain stage, but ne never really hit the results that we wanted to hit. And so um, it was around that time that we actually had a conference where um, uh, Dr. Peter Hart was speaking and he really shared the story of his research and his findings. And in particular, he identified the idea of organisational climate and the key role that that plays in school improvement and how people often ignore that component and jump straight to the improvement of just the teaching and learning environment. And so we, we recognised maybe that was an element that we needed to look at. And so um, as a result, we engaged um, Dr. Hart and experimented in that place. And, um, and as a result, the results themselves were revealing uh, to us that there was an issue in that space for us. What were your post-survey results and your emotional response to that? Well, it was interesting that in a multi-campus school, we would consider ourselves one college, but with multi-campuses, um, that there were really varying results across the campuses um, and, um, and that there were different strengths and weaknesses and areas of focus that, that really emerged. But I think in particular, it realised maybe a gap between what we thought or how we thought we were going in particular areas with regards to student and staff climate as opposed to what the results were eventually telling us. And so there's a little bit of a shock at first um, and um, often justification <laughs> that comes out of that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was certainly an eye-opening experience for their leadership at the time. So. What was the school's collective response to this data? Um, I think initially, if we were to be honest, we weren't really sure what, where to go with it. And, um, and I think in some discussions and work with Dr. Peter Hart at the time, I think we felt it was worth injecting into this area and, and understanding the effect of organisational climate and what it has on those other elements in a schooling environment. And I think we really felt it was something that we could address on our own. And so we attempted to take some steps into, into that pathway, but, um, but found it's probably some resistance and a lack of depth or clarity around what that really entails. So what were your follow-up surveys like? It was interesting. We, for the, we've done it for six years now, um, which has been a good journey. Um, so we've got some really comprehensive data on us as a community in that space. But I'd say for the first two or three years, um, the results were stagnated. Um, in a couple of spaces actually went backwards, um, despite our perceived efforts to try and embrace some of the aspects of Insight SRC, including the toolkit and um, understanding school improvement teams. And, um, and so I think there was a level of frustration, but what we realised was a level of doubt amongst our staff around the value of this data. And I think that was what we realised was a, a huge barrier. So in those early years, um, before we actually decided to go the full hog on it, um, it, was, it was fairly stagnated. Mm. So, mm. And how did you come to a conclusion that you could not do this all on your own? I think it got to a point after about four years of stagnated results and not really making progress in the way that we thought and becoming increasingly concerned about 
what the data was telling us about where our students were at um, in the, their engagement with school and, um, and the staff climate and various other things. So we just decided that, you know, if we're going to do this, we might as well give it 100%. And so as our senior leadership team, we committed to doing that and engaged Dr. Peter Hart in the comprehensive program that included multiple coaching sessions and working with our broader, our broader community. And, um, and so for a two year period, um, initially 12 to 18 months with the inclusion of Dr. Peter Hart, but then continuing on after that, we, we decided we, we needed to give this a hundred percent go. Um, and if beyond that, we didn't see results, then we realized that it wasn't something that was going to work for us. Um, but to our, I guess, pleasure and delight, um, we did see improvements and a shift in our results in a way that we hadn't seen in previous years. Um, mm. And in saying that, it wasn't a dramatic like doubling of results and so forth, but it was certainly um, in comparison to school improvement in, in other schools in this sort of area, um, a, quite a, a decent jump forward um, that we wouldn't have otherwise achieved unless we sort of gave it 100%. Yeah. Excellent. Cameron will be presenting his story on how he changed his methodology to create an improved working climate in his schools. Do you want to know how he did this? He will be presenting at the Stamford Plaza, which is at the Sydney airport, on Friday the 17th of January. See you there.